I'm Harvey Lewis, Cincinnati resident, teacher, a uh, bit of everything. Um, running is one of my greatest passions. Opportunities uh, to go and, and explore the world and do it running is like dancing across the earth. Something that uh, I just uh, feel my, my, my soul uh, come to life about. Today we're going to do a, a trip uh, to the school and get to meet some of my students. And uh, they certainly give a lot of energy to what I get into. Our day in paradise, here we go. I'm 39. I'm about to forget that. <laughs> all in the mind. Always, always in the mind, that's right. In the desert, a little bit of a challenge because I'm gonna have to adapt and uh, I'm going to have to, to do things a little differently than I would in the hottest desert in North America, where bad water, where I have a crew that falls along and hands me ice. Uh, being out in the desert in the Sahara, I have to carry everything in a backpack, like all my gears. I eat everything, that's why there's like nothing in the refrigerator anymore, you know. <laughs> This morning I'm going to have uh, some oatmeal. It's kind of a, a standard breakfast I like. I'm a vegetarian and it's uh, definitely influenced uh, my health and, and what I eat. Uh, I really uh, thrive off of eating uh, vegetarian. Now I know the rest of the team isn't exactly that way. My buddy Carlos uh, from Portugal, he, he he will give me a hard time. He say, "Harvey, what in the world?" <laughs> but uh, I really uh, thrive on a vegetarian uh, diet. Sometimes I think about that it would be nice to be a, a professional athlete and just focus on running all day long and lifting weights and uh, you know going to like uh, the hot tub. <laughs> I get a lot out of teaching and I would never want to uh, trade that back. And so even though I might uh, fantasize about uh, just running the world, like I, I think I would really be missing a, a an important part of what I enjoy if I didn't have the opportunity to teach and interact with young people. I make good, I make bad, all these thoughts run through my head, baby, baby, I just want you, I've got scars. The question about ADHD and how it's affecting us in this country I feel like I'm both an expert and I'm not an expert. Uh, so I'm not trained in uh, psychology, uh, but I am a teacher and I'm on the front lines every day. And I have a, a large percentage of my students that are affected by ADHD. I, I feel that a large piece of the problem uh, is that we are not uh, going about solving it by uh, getting to the root cause but more with band-aids and there are some students that may need medication but I think that medication is far too over, oversubscribed in this country and in this country we always want to fix things with a pill. The pharmaceutical industry has a tremendous 
influence over our politics, over our culture, and really, I don't like it. All right. You guys ready for Friday? Fortunately, at my school, we specialize in arts, and so our kids have that opportunity to express themselves through the arts, and that really gives them uh, an, an ability to, to focus better. I was born to be a performer, and when I get on stage, I perform. And I'd like to talk about my personal experience. Growing up, I personally uh, was challenged by ADHD. I, I was a, a student that did really poorly in school, and running gave me uh, the, the self-esteem and the confidence to be able to uh, take on a challenge and feel that I had the ability to do it. A lot of these kids, they feel defeated just because of the difficulty of going and uh, focusing on, on the classroom. Teacher-centered instruction doesn't work for a student with ADHD very well. A higher level of that, and then some people have... This school. Mr. So Tim, you want to... I do really... Uh, encourage my students to get involved in something active for their health. I, I really encourage them to, they don't have to run, although I, I, we have a running club, uh, but I like to get them in, involved in yoga, or it could be a sport, or it could be dance, it could be whatever they wish, but get involved with something where they're, they're able to like uh, accelerate their heart rate, to be moving and, and active because that, that it does so much for your health it, and it, it improves your ability to concentrate. That's my history. Boom.